Here we have a two-axis brushless DC motor system, consisting of a spinning slotted disc and linear sliding flag, which showcases the precision motion control made possible with Easy Motion smart motors and line of brushless DC motor control components. In this video, we will go through the main steps of implementing Easy Motion motion control on a system like this. We start with understanding the mechanics and dynamics of the system to determine the appropriate motors to use. Then, we'll take a closer look at the motor selection and implementation of the linear slider motor, and have listed the main relevant component dimensions here. We will look at the interface of the disc and flag to calculate the target peak linear speed. We set a disc rotational speed of 180 RPMs to drive the remaining calculations, and we treat the sliding flag as having a square cross-sectional profile to make the calculations more straightforward. By measuring the angular gap between the flag and the disc slot, we can calculate the available flag clearance time. Next, we take a look at the cross-sectional motion to determine the required clearance distance for the flag to travel and clear the disc slot. With that information, we can do a simple calculation to determine the peak constant speed. By adjusting for the constant speed zone and end of travel buffer zones, we can calculate the distance available for acceleration and deceleration using a trapezoidal profile. We then calculate the required acceleration using standard equations of motion. Now we can use mass values from the CAD model and component datasheets to determine the total rotational torque and power needed to operate the system. With this information, we can choose from the multiple Easy Motion Smart Motor options across several size families to find the best fit. For this linear slider application, we have selected a 188 watt, 57 mm Easy Motion Smart Motor. Once we have selected the motor, it's easy to set it up for operation using the Easy Motion RS485 communication module and Motion Lab GUI. Simply set the basic motor parameters, and then the system performs an automatic parameter identification and control tuning sequence. For more details on this process, check out our video demonstrating linear actuator control. Now we can program the position profile directly to the motor control module to generate maximum velocity in the least amount of time. We then use a signal from an optical sensor that detects the spinning disk's position to trigger the linear axis motion at just the right moment. We can plot the linear motion profile of position command versus measured feedback to assess the control performance and see a very small error across the entire motion range. This precise positioning enables highly consistent, repeatable performance demonstrated by the flag making it through the spinning disc over and over. For more information about Easy Motion smart motors and motion control solutions, visit our website, like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.